My name is Shannon Hennessy. I am a mother, a daughter, a friend, and an artist. I don't know. Do you the Do you remember the bioluminescence I do. that happened? I do. Okay, so it was there for a really long time. It kept going back and forth, like a few weeks. Right. And my, I started I, I started walking along the beach more as like a meditative thing, and I just started finding shells everywhere. Right. Um, and my friend Kelly is a marine biologist, and so I was like. Man, Kelly, I'm finding shells everywhere. I just, it's crazy. I, you know, I've lived here my whole life. I've, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm a mermaid, who knows? <laughs> and um, then she said, you know, the bioluminescence takes out oxygen out of the water. So it's killing off a little bit of the marine life. And, you know, that's most likely why you're finding so many. So it made sense to me. And, um, However, it hasn't stopped. <laughs> I keep finding shells and it's almost like this meditative experience for me when I'm out there. And then I thought, what am I gonna do with all of these? Like, I love collecting them, but it's, they're, it's getting to be too much. And that's when I started doing my artwork. And I never felt like I was an artistic person. So truly what I did was I just, I looked at a frame and thought, okay, I know I need a, you know, a, a shadow box one. What am I gonna do with it? And I just put, I just started with putting one shell in it. And I was like, okay, this looks pretty good. And then started adding a background and then I had a few people say, oh my gosh, it's really pretty. And it just built from there. And I love it. And I also love the fact that I'm, I learn something about it every time, like the shells or the sand dollars. I learn something. When I find stuff, I kind of like to look it up. And I found out there's something called the legend of a sand dollar. And what it is, is there's an Easter lily on the front, which is what it looks like. You know, it just looks like an Easter lily. And then when you flip it over, the back looks like a poinsettia. When you break it open, there's five doves of peace that come out. So when I read that, I just thought it was so beautiful and fascinating. And what it is, it's actually, they really do look like little birds. They look like doves. Um, it's the jaws of the sand dollar. So it's kind of how they move around. Um, but I mean, I just had no clue. And when you take a sand dollar and you shake it, you hear all these jingling, you know, that's what it is people who want who they loved the story but they also wanted it to represent something about themselves so it was like okay could you just do a sand dollar with um just two doves representing my sons that's kind of where the story led this inspiration not only for me but for other people wanting the artwork which i just thought was um really a beautiful thing people fall in love with the artwork that is the difference between selling something different i guess you could say um because i'll have people come up to me and they just they can they fall in love with it and i love the way you know they can picture it in their home they know exactly where they want to put it or they think of someone else that they know is gonna love it. Um, and of course, I'll you know, ask, oh, is there any way I could get it in a 
different color frame. I'm like, absolutely. And I'll do custom things for people. And I love seeing their uh, mind going and you know where they're going to be putting my artwork. And it's really touching. So I feel like when I'm, t when I'm doing this artwork, I have a huge connection with the people that end up buying it. Funny story, I'm at the beach and this girl is waiting for her boyfriend, he's surfing. And she looks bored, kind of like, oh geez, when is he gonna be done? And I'm, you know, searching for the shells and the sand dollars and she, you know, comes over and we start chatting. And I'm telling her all about the, you know, shells, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for me to do while he's surfing because I can't stand sitting here for this long. So we started, you know, kind of shelling and she couldn't find anything and everything kept popping up to me. I'm not joking. Every, every single thing. And she looks down. It, it, I look down. I'm like, there's one right there. There's a sand dollar right at your foot. She couldn't, she couldn't even see it. Didn't even see it. And I pick it up and she looks and I was like, here. And she looks at me and she goes, are you a mermaid? <laughs> 